Hello everyone, it's Felicity here. Nice to see you again. And uh, in this video, I would like to share my feelings about using tarot deck and responsibilities of having a tarot deck. I think that once you have a tarot deck and you start doing reading, and actually you start a journey of self-discovery and self-healing, because a tarot reading can not only show you your near future if you keep walking on the path that you are walking right now and it can also show you uh, the blockages the lessons that you are working on uh, in order to lead you to a better future for example um, if you would like to know about uh, when will you meet a soulmate or when will you meet someone who can have a meaningful life with you and uh, it's more beneficial to ask what you can do in order to lead someone who can have a meaningful relationship with you because what we send out we receive as uh, the law of attraction what we send out we receive like attract like if you have not cleared out some blockages you only attract someone who will reflect your inner wounds your inner self that needs to heal from because the other person will act like a mirror to reflect everything that you need to heal from so um before meeting a soulmate, usually there are a lot of healing to work on. There are a lot of lessons that you need to work on. And uh, soulmate can be uh, something that is predestiny. But if you are not ready to have a very meaningful bond with the soulmates, or if you have not cleared out the blockages, the two of you will meet for certain. But then later, the two of you will, will part in order to walk in a different way, in order to clear out the blockages and have a meaningful relationship later. And so, instead of asking the tarot, when will you meet someone to have a mean meaningful relationship with, it's more beneficial to ask, what are the blockages or the wounds that you need to heal from? in order to form a meaningful relationship and so after clearing out all the blockages you meet someone who can have a meaningful relationship with you and instead of someone who will show you the lessons that you need to work on so um, after clearing out the blockages that the car show you that you need to work on it's more likely that you attract someone who has less karmic lessons with you. Okay? But even though you have cleared out the blockage, it, it doesn't mean that, okay, I finished my lesson, now I will just relax and then I will have a really meaningful relationship without working on it. No. We always have lessons to learn. We always have some kind of uh, lessons that we need to learn from each other. That's why you're having a relationship with a certain people. And, but the lessons get easier once you clear out most of your blockage, once you heal from most of your wounds from your past life or from the previous time, from your earlier lifetime. And so, it's really uh, a, a journey of self-discovery to know more about yourself and to heal from those wounds from your early lifetime. And once you have cleared out, once you have healing, once you have healed from those wounds, you will have a more easier time with someone who can have a meaningful relationship and also 
before we help others, we have to help ourselves first. It's like on a plane, you know, uh, when we go through the safety instruction on a plane, usually they will tell you to put an oxygen mask first before you help others to put on their mask, right? This is what Taro means. Taro is the same. You have to help yourself to heal first before you can help others to heal from their wounds. Because um, in the Taro business, in this kind of work, it's very important that we heal from our wounds first. Otherwise, we are going to pro project our emotions into a tarot reading when helping with the clients. If we have emotions that we haven't healed from, we are going to project that emotions into someone else, tarot spread and interpret it for others. So it's very important that we uh, separate our own emotion from others' emotion. When doing a reading, when conducting a reading for others, it's very important that we know someone else's issues are their own issues. And it's very important to separate our own issue from others. Otherwise, we are going to bring our own burden. We are going to bring our own issues inside the reading of others. And so in order to bring a more subject uh, a more objective reading we have to know our own healing know our own wounds know our own self and then we can see a spread we can conduct a reading from a more objective perspective in order to help others another way of uh, knowing about our wounds is to pay attention to our own emotions because our own emotions tells a lot about our own wounds. Usually, if we have certain unpleasant emotions such as anger, sadness, or jealousy, it usually is triggered by someone's uh, behavior or someone's remarks. And it is time to look at our own emotions or ask the cards what we need to work on. Usually if we have emotions that is triggered by someone's remarks or someone's behaviors, usually it indicates that we have some wounds that we haven't healed. And it's time to heal from those wounds. Because usually uh, if you have healed from those wounds, you feel that you feel very neutral by someone's remarks. For example, if someone uh, tell you something about your image or, or remarks on your own body image or your, your appearance, if you are very um, peaceful, if you are very comfortable about yourself, you just feel neutral about their own remarks because you know that you are confident about your own appearance, you are comfortable living in your own skin, right? But if you feel really upset or feel angry about someone's remarks on your appearance, then it means that there's something that we need to heal from. And so tarot card can really show you the wounds that you need to heal from. And another responsibility is that we are responsible for our, um, our own choices. Sometimes, you know, some people may be in, indecisive about their own actions and they, they will get a little bit of upset about asking the tarot cards, for example, am I going to go out with this date? Or is it beneficial if we go out with a person? And then maybe Every time you go to ask the card and then decide, it can end up in a very obsessive way instead of beneficial way. Because sometimes we have to trust our own feelings 
instead of asking the cards always in order to make a decision. You know, tarot is about reflecting our inner thoughts and in action. So sometimes uh, it's good to rely on our own feelings. It's good to rely on our own intuition instead of asking the card again and again what we need to do next or what we, which role we should take. And so uh, we have to be responsible for our own action or our own intuition instead of asking the cards in order to make a decision for ourselves. Of course, it's very nice to make to consult the cards on some very important things, but if you consult the cards in a very little small thing, such as whether you need to, to uh, eat the chocolate favorite ice cream or the strawberry ice cream, then it's a, a, an obsessive, unhealthy behavior. So, uh, yes, having a tarot deck means uh, you have the responsibility of making your own decision instead of asking always, asking the card about before making a decision. And next, uh, next thing is uh, the responsible of respecting others' privacy. You know, sometimes uh, we will ask others the things that are not related to us. For example, I would like to know how my ex life right now, or how how my ex and his girlfriend's relationship is going to turn out. Then it's, it's uh, intruding others' privacy because uh, ex uh, life with his girlfriend or her, girl, her, her boyfriend has nothing to do with us anymore, right? So uh, we need to respect others' privacy, not asking the card to find out others' privacy or find out how someone's life is going to be because that someone's life has nothing to do with our life unless their own decision or, or they are the, the, the interaction has something to do with our own lessons. And so, um, that's all I would like to share with you about the responsibility of having a tarot deck. First, it's about knowing yourself, healing from your own wounds, and second, it's about uh, take control of your life, take control of your own decision instead of asking asking the cards to make a decision for you. And uh, next is about respecting others' privacy, respecting others' own life. If someone's life has nothing to do with, with us, and we have to respect them, and not asking the card to find out someone's privacy. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.